Welcome to the information session for the Certificate 2 in Community Services. My name is Sonia, I'm one of the Community Service Teachers in our statewide team and I'm going to talk you through what this course is all about. So why study Community Services? It's a fabulous area to study and work in because it's an area that makes a real difference in people's lives. There are a lot of different jobs and job roles, so lots of variety and it's a growth area. There is increased future demand for trained up qualified community service workers. It's a great sector to build a career in because there's lots of opportunity to move into different areas as well. So you can have a really diverse career. Some people might start working in emergency relief. Others might go into housing, um, alcohol and other drugs, mental health, domestic family violence, child safety. So you can get a bit of a feel for how diverse the sector is. You can work for not-for-profit, government or private sector organisations. And whilst you're studying and working in this area, it's a great opportunity to experience personal growth and ongoing learning. Industry and pathway opportunities. The Certificate 2 in Community Services is an entry level worker role. So usually this qualification is just getting people a feel for what the community service sector is all about. And then most people will go on and they will study other qualifications and perhaps even specialising in areas that are of particular interest to them. So after completing a Certificate 2 in Community Services, people will go on and study a Certificate 3, a 4, perhaps even a Diploma of Community Services. There's also specialist qualifications such as mental health, youth work, alcohol and other drugs and even peer worker uh, training. So that's for people who have a lived experience uh, around the areas of mental health or substance use and they want to uh, you know, use their lived experience to support others. And then there's the Bachelor of Social Work which can be studied at university level. Course information. So there's nine units of competence in this qualification. Five are core units and four are electives. And this is a pathway qualification for people wanting to enter uh, the employment sector as a community service worker who provides that first point of contact and assists individuals and clients in meeting their immediate needs. At this level of work, a worker would work under direct and regular supervision with very clearly defined guidelines. So these are the units that we offer in the Certificate 2. We have the health and safety related units, which is really about work health and safety in lots of different work environments and a unit on managing personal stress. We have workplace task related units. So that's being able to organise and complete our daily work activities reading and responding to written information and digital information and using digital technology to complete our workplace tasks. We also have a unit on diversity, so working with all of the different aspects of diversity in our communities. And communications is a really important one. We have to be able to communicate effectively with the people that we're working with. So we have a unit specifically on communicating, providing that first point of contact when a client or a service user comes into an organisation and needs assistance and a unit on interacting effectively with others. This course is a three day a week course and uh, the classes are Wednesdays and Fridays 10.30 to 1.30. So these are live online interactive classes where you will dial in to the, um, the live video conferencing room with your teacher and other students. And then Thursdays, there's one day a week where there's online directed study day where you will complete learnings and readings and discussion posts online that your teacher has set. But you'll be working independently doing that. We also have our online learning platform which is called Canvas and that's where all of our online learning resources are kept and where assessments are submitted and your teacher will take you through a very comprehensive induction at the beginning of the course to let you know how to use that platform. The course is a statewide course so we will have students from all around Tasmania participating in the course. The start date is the 12th of February 2025 and the finish date is the 27th of June 2025. 
There are term holiday breaks and public holidays during that time. These are clearly listed on the timetable and students are not required to participate in classes during those times. All students are provided with a course schedule, which is the class timetable, and that includes important information about when a unit starts, when a unit finishes, when assessments are due, uh, and when you know we complete certain activities in class. It also outlines public holidays and the term breaks. TAS TAFE has a number of wonderful facilities for students to be able to access. We've got great libraries with computers, printers, photocopiers, lots of resources, study and meeting spaces for students, um, student amenities. So depending on the campus, there will be dining areas, kitchenettes, meeting spaces. We have our client services team who are very helpful with things like IDs and enrolment and queries. Some of our campuses have canteens and kiosks where students might meet up and also parking depending on the campus. Now this is an online course so the, most of the students will be studying from their um, own home or um, you know a workplace but you're more than welcome to visit our facilities as well and go on campus and meet up with other students. The course requirements for this course are access to a computer, internet and having a working camera and microphone. And that's because this course is delivered fully online using video conferencing software. You'll also need to be able to access online learning resources. So those are really important. Computer, reliable internet, a working camera and a working microphone. So what's expected of you studying with TAS TAFE? Well, first of all, that you are going to be an active participant in the online learning environment because a lot of the learning activities and the assessment activities require effectively interacting with other people. That you're able to keep up with the study schedule, that you've set time aside or can set time aside to be able to attend all of your classes, that you complete and submit your assessments on time, that you will model professional workplace behaviours and in community services, the values and behaviours that we display are things like empathy, effective clear communication, participating, respect for others. Be open to learning and applying new skills and information and that you've got some basic computer skills and able to use Microsoft Office, Teams and the internet. And as I mentioned before, cameras and microphones are required for this course. Completing assessment tasks. So each unit or cluster has set assessment tasks and your teacher will explain these in detail in class before they're due. So some of the assessment tasks might include written responses to questions, written responses to scenarios, demonstrating your skills and working with others on set projects. All assessments must be completed to a satisfactory industry standard but clear instructions and guidance is provided by your teacher and support is available to assist with assessments. So we have a fabulous student support team at TAS TAFE and there's also additional submission attempts. So TAS TAFE's policy is that students get three assessment attempts. So for example, if you submitted an assessment task and there was a little bit in that task that wasn't quite completed in full, your teacher would provide you with really clear feedback and ask you just to resubmit the part that was missing or needed to be redone. Credit transfers and recognition of prior learning. So credit transfers apply if you've previously completed a unit in the course that you're enrolling in.
So you will have a, t a statement of results or a testimony, um, statement of attainment that you've obtained either from TASTAFE or another training provider. So you can provide that at the time of enrolment and our administration and enrolments team will, will review that for you. And then students who have an approved credit transfer do not need to repeat the learning and assessment for that unit. And similar to that, we've got what we call recognition of prior learning. So that's where people might have previously uh, worked or currently work in a particular role. They've got work experience in a certain area. They've previously studied in that area relevant to the unit and they may be eligible for recognition of prior learning. So this is a form of assessment that assesses your current skills, your current knowledge using a range of uh, evidence. So it could be documented evidence, previous records of training, uh, participating in competency conversations with teachers, demonstrating current skills. So if you think that that applies, that's worth um, inquiring about through our um, admin and enrolments team or having a conversation with your teacher. Tuition fees and other costs, um, you'll be able to look up on our TASTAFE uh, website, but it depends, the fees depend on the course that you're enrolled in and they may vary, um, but our um, administration enrolments team will be able to provide you with more information on that one. There's no additional costs for this course, so you don't need textbooks or uniforms. Uh, all of the online resources are provided. What you do need to have access to, like I said, is a reliable computer and internet. Some information about the application process. Applications for this particular qualification will open on the 11th of November at 12 p.m. midday. So you can visit our website, you go to the apply and enroll page, and that's where you would submit your application. Uh, you can actually go onto that uh, page earlier than the 11th of November to set up your TASTAFE student account, and that will save you some time when it comes to actually applying for your course. After you've submitted your application, we also ask you to keep an eye out for your emails as our admin and enrolments team will be in contact with you if they need some more additional information from you. So keep that on your calendar if that's uh, what you're interested in, in doing is in applying for a position in this uh, course, uh, the 11th of November 2024 at 12pm midday. Make a great start with Study Start. This is our introductory program to help students successfully study a test TAFE. So it's a free four day program that's delivered before your course starts. And in that program, you can learn about study skills and the computer programs that we use at TAS TAFE. Uh, so it's like an introductory before you get into the content of the course that you'll be studying. So it's very flexible. You can participate in that on campus or online. So if you go to our website, there's more details there. You can type in in the search bar, study start, and it'll give you more information. Well worth having a look at, particularly if you're new to studies or you've been you know, returning to studies after a long break, you'll find that the content in this program is really useful. We also have our foundation skills services. So these are support for students who might need some assistance with reading, writing, maths, computer skills, study skills and workplace skills. So our foundation skills will come into our class environments and do some sessions on some of these topics uh, or you can actually book in for yourself and you can complete it on campus or online. So there's lots of different support options around foundation skills. So your teacher will explain this in induction on how to access this additional supports. In addition to the foundation supports, we also have study supports. So we have student counsellors disability liaison officers and Aboriginal support officers based in each region of Tasmania who are able to assist students with a range of services and supports. And that could include advice about financial assistance, counselling, disability support, pathway planning. So your teacher will let you know how to access this support. There's also information on our website and this is a free service for students studying at TAS TAFE. Okay, so let's recap some key information. Applications for this course open on our website on the 11th of November 2024 at 12pm midday.
And if you have any further questions about this course, you can contact us on the email on the screen there or phoning the 1300 655 307 number and one of our staff members will be back in touch. Okay, that's it for the information on the Certificate 2 in Community Services.